Neo, why are you wearing those shades already? I just think they're cool. They are damn cool. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You've felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the Jehovah's Witnesses. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. Do you know what I'm talking about? The JW Matrix? Do you want to know what it is? Yes. The JW Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your JW broadcasting on television. You can feel it when you go out in service. When you go to the Kingdom Hall. When you donate to the Borg. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth about the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like every other born and you were born into bondage. Into a prison that you cannot taste or see or touch. A prison for your mind. I am trying to free your mind, Neo. But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. You have a choice. Take the blue pail and you go back to your JW life. You get a beach Saturday for service. Go to all the meetings and assemblies. Maybe reach out to become an elder. You take the red pail and you stay in Wonderland. And you'll see how deep the rabbit hole goes. Either way, there is no turning back. Where are we? We're in a computer-generated simulation called the JW Construct. This is where I can show you what the JW Matrix is. What if I told you that this JW life you've been leading has all been a lie? Yes, a lie. It's been a carefully choreographed deception perpetrated on you and 8 million others. A lie? There is no paradise. A paradise Earth is not even mentioned in the Bible. There is no Jehovah God, his name was totally made up. What? Is that so hard to believe? Jeffrey Jackson even admitted this on one of the broadcasts. Also, the calculation of 1914 originally was from pyramidology. Later it was changed to be calculated from the fall of Babylon in 607 BC. The trouble is Neo, Babylon fell in 587 BC, rendering the magical date of 1914 irrelevant. The entire JW timeline where we are supposedly living in the last days is complete nonsense. Also, for decades the governing body has scolded Christendom for their handling of pedophiles in their midst. And all along, they have been covering up child abuse in their congregations on an industrial scale. Look at this Neo. Here is a clip of Stephen Lett on the JW broadcast. As an example, think about the apostate-driven lies and dishonesties that Jehovah's organization is permissive toward pedophiles. I mean, that is ridiculous, isn't it? If anybody takes action against someone who would threaten our young ones and takes action to protect our young ones, it's Jehovah's organization. We reject outright such lies. At the same time, this is what was actually happening. In one of the dozen lawsuits I've been following, Watchtower Supervisor Richard Ash was asked if the organization has a responsibility to protect children from abuse. But within the congregation, ours is a spiritual protection. When we're talking about physical protection, that's up to the secular authorities to provide. And so he was asked about the Watchtower's Bible-based directives to keep child abuse cases confidential. It states in paragraph three, mm -hmm. there is a time to keep quiet when your words should prove to be few. Do you see that? Yes, sir. You know, Mr. Joseph. I'm going to object to that violation of the First Amendment, freedom of religion, freedom of association. The governing body learned a long time ago that they can use each publisher to work for free, as unpaid slave labor. They are an unpaid slave army of magazine sellers and cult recruiters. An unpaid army of branch and kingdom hall builders. An unpaid army of building maintenance workers. While the governing body sit on their fat asses in a warwick and live like little kings, dominating every aspect of the lives of 8 million people. Traveling around the world in business class, and getting the adulation of millions. The JW Matrix is a dream world, in order to change a human being into this. I don't understand! Impossible! Leave me alone! Stop it! No! I don't believe it. 
It's not possible. Are you done? I think so. I didn't say it would be easy, Neo. I just said it would be the truth about the truth. Stop! Let me out. I want out. Wow! This is heavy stuff. Okay, I get it. I know I've been deceived. Now what? Well, Neo, you are the one. It's time to fight the Borg. Let's go back to the simulation. I have something to show you. Neo, take a look at this. Do you know who this is, Neo? He is Agent Smith. But he is actually a high-ranking Bethelite that represents all that is wicked in the Borg. Like all high-ranking Bethelites, he looks, acts, thinks and craps exactly as the Borg tells him to do. His job is to destroy any and all apostates and protect the interests of the Collective at all costs. He has the admiration of millions of JWs because a false power and intelligence has been given to him. He feeds off this admiration even if what he is doing is pure evil. He's basically an idiot who couldn't survive outside the Borg, but with a lot of power. Like an AI. Artificial intelligence? Yes, Neo. So how do I defeat that? It won't be easy, Neo. You have to beat them at their own game. Speak out against the Borg with your own blog, podcast, YouTube channel. Fight them in the courts too. If you don't want to do that, just kick the crap out of them. Cool! Let's go with option B. You better practice your moves then. Trinity, are you seeing this? Oh my god. It's true. He is the one. Neo, you're ready. It's time for you to go into the JW Matrix and start kicking some watchtower ass. Send me in, coach. Apostate scum. Holy crap. He's beating that Bethelite senseless. He is the one. Looks like JW.Borg is sending their lawyers in now. Time to get this boy out to fight another day. Are you okay, Neo? Hell yeah. I'm Great Morpheus. Neo, you are the one. Absolutely. I know you're out there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show this people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. A world without rules or controls, borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Where we go from there is a choice I leave to you. Ha 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 